We are building a car that will do 1,000 miles an hour. That's got some challenges. That's faster than any jet fighter at low level ever. So we need to go beyond jet-powered supersonic land speed record vehicles. We're gonna need extra thrust. We're actually using a, uh, a rocket motor. To power the rocket motor, we've got a 550 horsepower Jaguar race car engine. Three engine car, incredibly powerful vehicle that from start to finish will cover 12 miles in two minutes. And one of the critical things about uh, controlling this car and keeping it safe is the wheels. The wheels are going to rotate 10,000 times a minute the wheel rims will be pulling 50,000 times the force of gravity outwards. So no kind of rubber tyre is going to survive that. You're right up at the limit of modern aerospace materials, even for solid metal wheels. And the big challenge we faced was how to deliver that. I was lucky enough to get uh, talking to Lockheed Martin very early on in this project, and they said that's exactly the sort of expertise we as an aerospace, global aerospace company, can deliver. They finished up doing literally thousands and thousands of hours of modeling, um, some very intensive computer-aided design and stress work. And what they have produced us is the most sophisticated, strongest, fastest wheels in the history of motorsport. In terms of keeping me safe, in terms of giving us confidence that we've got the best car in history, the wheels are an absolutely critical part of it, and we've only got Lockheed Martin to thank for that. Their work has been absolutely outstanding, and we have now had the first of those wheels made and spun tested at 10,000 RPM. The stress model has been validated. Everything Lockheed Martin said the wheel would do, we have now tested, and it's exactly what it says on the tin. They are brilliant.